the president isn't really doing everything he can to bring gas prices down, is he? I feel like there's a, what, is there something else to the question? Oh, there's a lot to the question. Oh, okay, uh, well, for example, yeah. as you mentioned earlier, uh, he's meeting today with people installing offshore wind equipment, but not oil and gas CEOs who are rarely ever in town, but they are today. So how did that help lower gas prices? Well, the president has done a, um, so let me step back for a second. But no, 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 by, by no, no, no. Offshore wind no, no, you're asking me, not with gas, you're asking me the question, CEOs, how does that lower gas Peter, prices? You said Peter, he's done everything in his power. They were a mile away. Peter, you're asking me a question. Let me, can I, may I answer? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Um, I just want to take us back a, a second on how we got here, right? So we have seen gas prices go up by $2 a gallon. One of the reasons we have seen that, the reason we have seen that is because of Russia's war uh, in, in Ukraine. Um, and once that happened, once we saw what that impact was, was going to be, uh, the president took action. He took action. He made, histor he made a historic uh, choice to uh, tap the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, one million uh, barrels a day. And that was for six months. And that helped blunt the impact of what we're seeing right now with prices going up. So that matters. The, the ethanol 15 that the president, the action that the president took, that matters because it's going to t it's going to bring down gas prices in gas stations, over a thousand gas stations across the country, including uh, the Midwest. That matters. And so the president is trying to figure out and take take steps in how we can take, bring the gas prices down. And we have a high level of oil production. So what we are asking the oil refinery companies to do is to take that that, that production, turn it into, uh, refine that oil so that there is capacity. We are not at capacity right now, and it does matter that the Secretary uh, of Energy, which is her purview, that is her portfolio, to meet with these oil execs that she does on on pretty regular basis. But your point was about how we got here. The president said, as a candidate, no more drilling on federal lands, no more drilling including offshore, no ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Wouldn't that would, aren't some of those things that would bring the price of gas down now? Let me tell you how we got here, since you just said how we got here. Due to a decreased demand of the start of the pandemic, U.S. oil companies reduced production and refinery capacity, which is what I was just saying, Peter. Refiners, for instance, cut their capacity by more than 800,000 barrels per day in the year before the president took office. Oil production is now back, back to near pre-pandemic levels. In fact, we produce more oil in the first year of the president's administration than in the first two years of the previous administration, and we are on track to set a new record for oil production next year this time. But oil refiners have still not brought refinery capacity back online. At the same time, as I was just stating to you about Putin's war, Putin's invasion of Ukraine disrupted the global oil supply, and gas prices have gone up nearly to $2 since the beginning of the year before the invasion. President Biden has taken historic actions again to alleviate the pressure and to blunt uh, what the impacts that we have seen because of, of Putin's war. And that matters. And that's what the president has been focused on. Okay. And the president yesterday was talking about this transition to um, greener energy someday. A lot of people can't afford a $60,000 electric car. And they also are having a hard time affording gas right now. That sounds like a painful transition. So how much of that kind of pain is the president okay with? No, that transition, we are in a transition to, to clean energy. That is something that uh, that is important. Uh, it is going to create jobs when you think about electric vehicles. Uh, it is going to give uh, give families some t some tax credits. It's going to be uh, really important right now, to have. Who can afford an electric car? The average price is sixty-one thousand dollars. Well, we're going to continue uh, to move forward with what is we have put forward the bi the that, bipartisan is that the infrastructure. Five dollar five dollar gallon gas for a sixty-one thousand dollar. That electric is not. Car. First of all, you're you're. That's apples and oranges. It's not the same. What we're trying to do right now is to deal with an acute problem right now. 
which is why the president, again, asked for uh, a 90-day uh, suspension of the gas tax, the gas tax holiday. It is going to make a difference. Peter, we're talking about 18 cents on the federal on the federal level. We're talking about an average of 30 cents uh, on the state level. And if the oil refinery do, does their job, if they do what we are asking them to do, which is put their profits back in so that gas prices can go down, that's almost a dollar per gallon. That matters. That matters. That matters to teachers. That matters to home health care aides. That matters to construction workers. That matters to plumbers. That matters to lifeguards. Those are the people that, and many others, uh, who are going to feel this in a way that will give them relief at the pump. All right, we're done.